Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Hiller in for Candace Kelly and Nick Toma tonight. 74 years after being killed during World War II, a Scranton soldier was finally laid to rest today. People in Lackawanna County took time out of their day to line the funeral procession for Army Private First Class Willard Jenkins. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable is live at Abington Hill Cemetery with more about today's service. Eric. Mark, good evening. Willard Jenkins, who was more known by his nickname Bud, died back in 1944 while serving in the Netherlands. He was first declared missing in action until the Army was able to match his DNA with his sister and finally bring him home. With the help of his brother step by step, Willard Bud Jenkins began his final journey Wednesday. 74 years after being killed in World War II, Jenkins' community turned out to honor and salute his sacrifice. Gene Gallagher is a World War II veteran himself. Still a wonderful country. They can do something like this for a fellow veteran. With a police and military escort, a funeral procession took Jenkins to his final resting place, Abington Hill Cemetery. Strangers holding flags, many crying, lined the root in spots as they prayed for Jenkins' only surviving sister. There's an angel on that brought that DNA to him and brought him back here where he belongs. At the gravesite service, a 21-gun salute. Taps were also played. Full military honors for a hometown hero who has not been forgotten. He's home after all these years. And now my mother can be happy. She's right up there. So he's right by her. As the American flag from his casket was first folded, then presented to Edna Jenkins on behalf of a grateful nation, she believes her brother is now at peace. I told my mother, put the sun out for us when we get up there. And it was out. It was wonderful to see it. Now, Edna Jenkins was just nine years old when her brother was killed in action before being put to rest this afternoon here at this cemetery in Lackawanna County. Willard Jenkins was first in an unmarked grave in the Netherlands. He was then later moved to Belgium before finally making the trip back here to home. We're live tonight in South Abington Township. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Such an emotional day, Eric. Thank you. Of the 16 million Americans who served in World War II, more than 400,000 died during the war, and more than 72,000 service members are still unaccounted for.